Americans in debt is on the rise. And so is the number of debt relief companies selling a program to help. Consumer investigator Shannon Bankin joins us now, and this is one of those warn you stories, it right? It is. I see, Josh, we've all heard the advertisements for the debt relief um, businesses that are out there to try to help you, but I sat down with the Better Business Bureau. They are sounding the alarm. They want people to know that you need to be extremely careful with these companies because they are trying to sell you this stuff, but the, but the BBB has 11,000 complaints for consumers, and with so many complaints, they decided to conduct a survey. Their survey found a pattern of complaints. Those complaints are misleading and people say that they're fraudulent claims too. Interesting. So how does the service work? How do they get you out of debt allegedly? Yeah, well, it sounds too good to be true, and the BBB says in some cases it is. Now, I will say that, you know, some people have had success, but you need to be very careful because they, they're supposed to negotiate with the debt company so that you end up paying less, but usually they tell you to stop paying while they're negotiating, mm. and that's what leads to trouble. Oglesby tells me that sometimes these companies leave consumers with even more debt than they had when they got started. And a lot of these companies are going to charge upfront fees, and that's a big red flag and a big concern. If they're charging these fees, making these high promises that they can get you out of debt and fix your credit uh, with no work on your end, as a consumer, you want to be wary. You want to vet these companies, see what kind of track record they have. Boy, vet the companies, that's key, because are they ever a good idea? Well, and I asked the BBB that, and they said, you know, they're not going to say that they're never a good idea, but a lot of things that they offer, people can do on their own. You know, you for should free. call. Yeah, for free. You should call your creditor and try to work out something on your own. You know, if you're in so deep that none of those things are working, then maybe this is an option, but in those cases, you need to be extremely careful to make sure you're hiring a company that you can trust. But like anything, there's the good companies, and then there's mm -hmm. the companies who just, the barrier to entry.